My name is Lorena Dominic. Uh, today I want to show you how to prepare a sack for planting. So, as you can see here, this is a, a sack for rice, whereby after using the rice, I will now use this sack for another work. So I'll reuse it. So the first thing to do, as you can see the size of the sack, I'll fold it. Into two like that to make it short because I don't want to to use the whole sack and also it will be double now you can see so that it can support my soil the one that I'm going to add in here for a long time because if I just leave it as it is the whole sack it will not last for for long so that is why I double it just like that then I'll use uh, less soil in this sack so the first step after folding like that is to add small stones then followed by sand then finally I will add the soil the reason being to add the small stones and the sand is to create good drainage of water within the sack for this one I don't make any holes because water can easily penetrate through the sack so the only thing I can do is to add the stones then sand also soil then I will plant what I want to plant so let us let us start as you can see here this is a, a good number of small stones as I've told you, you add the stones first. Make sure you spread the stones well in the in the sack so that the sack will be stable. After that, I'll just check amount of sand. This is the sand. I'll add on top of the on top of the stones. Add a layer of sand. This is a simple activity you can do for yourself. No need of looking somebody to do for you. But if you want me to prepare for you, you will contact me and I will do for you perfectly. And you will enjoy the work. Then after adding this, the sand, the last step is to add the soil. Remember, 
your soil must be well mixed with the manure any kind of manure but for me i prefer chicken manure because you have had my chicken making noise from the other side so i can say that chicken manure is the best for this work because this manure has done wonders to my vegetables so that that is the one that i use i mix the top soil that is loam soil or young soil with uh, manure chicken manure then after mixing it it will uh, be there for about two weeks so that to be ready for this one i mixed it with the manure two weeks ago so at now they are ready the, this soil is ready for use so as you can see it's a good soil ready to be used yeah even you can see here there is something these worms they are good for for this soil because they break down the nutrients for the plants to use them well so i'll just add them there it's a good soil ready for planting you can plant whatever you want kels spinach bell peppers and the other vegetable Make sure you are your sack is stable. And don't fill the soil up to the beam of your sack or up to the top of the sack. Just to make sure you leave a space because with the time you are going to add some manure to feed your vegetables that you plant in the sack. So after this my sack is ready. Uh, you can plant your seedlings or you can plant the seeds direct but i prefer uh, preparing a nursery bed then you can plant you can transplant the the seedlings later but for today i want to plant the seeds direct i want to make this sack as a, a nursery bed so here with me i have this kind of seeds cauliflower snowball i think you know it so this is the one that i want to prepare a nursery bed here then later when they grow ready for transplanting I'll transplant from this sack to other sacks or other containers. So, because I don't need too many seedlings, 
I'll just use this spoon then I measure the seeds like that as you can see there are not many then after that I'll spread them on top of the soil you spread them evenly just like that I'm done next step don't leave it like that take soil spread the soil on top of the seeds make sure you cover the seeds with uh, a small layer of soil cover your seeds with a layer of soil just like that then next is to water this is a simple watering can that I prepared done after watering then do what we call mulching take a dry grass or leaves then cover cover on top of the the sack the process is done then from here I'll place this sack somewhere a safer place then after some days I'll check whether the seeds have germinated or sprouted then I'll remove this grass but remember as from today I'm going to work every day if it does not rain but if it rains then it will make the work easy for me Thank <laughs> you.